In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your Squarespace website domain name. And I'm just gonna be really honest up front. This is the third time I've recorded this video because it keeps not saving when I finish. So our first step is gonna look like I've already done it because I have, I've tried to do it a couple times already. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is change your built-in domain name because likely when you set up your new Squarespace account, it gave you something like mine did that was like mackerel something something dot squarespace dot com and we don't want that so let's change that I'm going to show you how to change it because I already have we're going to go into settings down here in the left sidebar and go to domains and email and then domains and right here you will see your built-in domain if you click there all you got to do is just backspace whatever that mumble jumble is and type in what you want it to be that way when you are logged in and you are editing your site, it will be something custom to you. And that also helps you be able to get back to editing your site once you leave. So it's not something that's really random and weird to remember. It will be something custom and branded to you. So type that in here. There'll be a save button in the top right. Click save and you will be good to go. You will get an email confirming your change. But that's all there is to that. If we go back to domains and email though, and then into domains. If you are ready to go live and you want to connect or get a real domain name, we can talk about that too. So first you can do get a domain name. It's pretty obvious what that is. Now, if I click get a domain name, you can see that it's pulling up some suggestions for me based on what I gave the site title as the name. Or what you can do is just like type in your own that you are thinking about. Now this is my actual website, so obviously it's gonna be unavailable, but you can come through here and shop for what you want. Or if you are not to the point of actually having a trial site yet, you can come to domains.squarespace.com and we can search over here as well. Again, we've already said, obviously designing the row is taken, but it will give me some options here. Now, if you haven't gotten your domain name yet and you are for sure that you want to go with Squarespace, I would say maybe pause if you were thinking about doing an annual plan through Squarespace, paying for the Squarespace fee annually compared to monthly, you will actually get one year free of a domain name. So I might actually recommend that you pause and wait until you get to that point. If you already have a domain name, we're going to click use a domain I own. You're going to type that in here, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to disconnect my real website. If you have a domain name that already lives on Squarespace, maybe it's connected to an old site. It's going to be super simple for you to move it right over to this new site with just a few clicks of some buttons. Type it in here, confirm that you want to move it here, assuming that you are admin on both sites and both the um, domain name as well. It will be very easy for you. Now, let's say maybe you have a domain name that lives on like GoDaddy or Network Solutions, Bluehost, wherever it might be. We can do that right here as well. You can leave your domain name with those providers, but connect it to your Squarespace website. You're going to enter your domain name here. Click next. It's likely going to then recognize where your domain name lives. You're going to say, yes, that's correct. And then it's going to say, great. How about you log in to that provider right here through Squarespace and we'll help you connect it. Now, I know at least for GoDaddy, they will automatically connect it for you if you, they, if you want them to. That's great if you don't have a lot going on with your domain name. If you have already an email account set up or anything else pointing to your domain name, I recommend that you opt for the manual option and add in the domain records yourself. That way things don't get messed up. So those are the two options it's going to give you once you get to that point and what I would recommend you do depending. So we talked about changing your built-in domain name, how to search for and get a new domain and how to connect a domain name from another provider to Squarespace. You should be all set. So the next thing that I'd recommend you do also here under domains and email, I have a whole other video for this is how to set up a Google workspace. So once you have your domain connected, if you would like to set up a custom email, like Mine is hey at designingtheroad.com. You can do that right here through your Squarespace website. Just click Google Workspace. You'll get a Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, all of that under a custom domain name that you can set up right here. 
that would be what I would recommend that you watch next. I will link it up here for you and I will see you over there.